uh, dollars. Uh, we have all those things over there. Have some beautiful things over there. Uh, I understand that for people who only watch watch TV, they will see uh, from the news. You will hear only about the bad things. Uh, they will show the bad places. But there are some great stuff over there. I would encourage you to visit. There are some big mountains. And uh, if we would have money to build them up, we would going to have the best highways. Uh, we, have, we have some fertile, fertile uh, land. We have some fertile land over there. We have some mine as well. We even have gold over there. We have gold. Uh, let, to make people think about it is that why do you think that the the, uh, the Spanish would fight for Haiti? The British would fight for Haiti, for example. And you have many many other other uh, international communities uh, who've been fighting for Haiti. They try to buy Haiti, all right. And it is not it is not unclear. It is not. I don't think it is unknown that even America wants Haiti as well. It's it's a fact, and pe- people know about it. You know. And why do you think that all those countries will want this poor country? Why? Think there's nothing there. There's nothing to take. There's nothing, uh, you know, uh, to get from it. Why fighting for it? Why? But anyway, this is not a story. You know, this is not a story. Right now we have the, the hurricane, and then people keep on saying, "Oh, the most, uh, the poorest country, or the most in, impoverished country." We understand that. We don't need people to remind us of that. We don't need that. We know it already. And we, as I said before, we're not the poorest. We are the most miserable. We had, we had things. And we still have things. We might be unable to develop what we have when it comes to mine and, 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 and gold, some other things. Right now, there are some people in Lagunav, the little Lagunav, they are stealing earth. They travel around the world with our earth, you know. They 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 stealing some some dirt and then take all dirt. Is it just dirt? I don't think so. It is something else. So we we know about those things and then uh, we know about some of the money uh, that that is that is hidden under the earth. Some of the places in Haiti we know about the, all those things. We are only unable to record. To, record, uh, to develop what we what we have. As you are listening to me, as you are listening to me, you watch on TV what is going on. You watch on CNN what is going on. I, I think it was good to give you a little history, you know, a little background about Haiti, what it was and what it is right now. You know it already. You saw all the people who died. Uh, more than 100,000 people died. Uh, we know that we need help. But at the same time, we do not want to be treated uh, as you know, as charitable people who are just begging for something. Uh, but if you desire to help us, we will receive your help. But we will receive your help with pride, uh, with, with great proud, I would say. Uh, we will receive it from you and we, we thank you already. We thank you already for helping us. But don't help us because we are poor, but help us because we are in need. Of your help right now this is what we need we don't need people to remind us that we pour in fact i'm glad that we pour we pour in spirit because the lord is on our is on the side of the poor the poor people will be saved and not only this death equal equalizes us death equalizes us whether we rich we poor all of us will die and if we do not give our lives to jesus christ hey we'll be lost so let us remember let us remember, it's not about what we have on this earth. It's, it's all about what we will have when Jesus comes. So may the Lord bless you. You can reach us. You can reach us at uh, 773-979-4602. 773-979-4602. If you want to help us out, or you can go uh, to Wallace, Wallace12 at yahoo.com. You can email me. Can email me we we are taking you know we are doing some kind of fundraising right now so you can help us help us out so may god may the lord bless you uh i want to give you another number the number of my church treasure i'm looking for that from
but hmm? yeah, if you my church treasure was is my phone. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Oh my gosh, uh, I will need to give you that number again. Yeah, so you can help us, help us out with your, with your donation. Oh, oh, I do have my the number for my church treasurer. Uh, his name is Pushon Joseph, Joseph Augustine, Joseph Augustine Jr. Joseph Augustine Jr. Jr. His number is 773-426-426-5823. 773-426-5823. You can call him, you can make a donation, uh, you can write your check to Bethlehem French Seventh-day Adventist Church. Bethlehem French Seventh-day Adventist Church and you can mail it to 750 West 90th Street. Chicago, Illinois, 60620, 750 West 90th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60620. May God bless you and have a good day. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. He's coming soon. So I want you to read Matthew 24 and John 14. God bless you. Well, that concludes tonight's episode of Four and By. Um, Pastor Wallace, thank you so much for the information. It was a pleasure listening to you, and uh, <laughs> I hope that you guys all enjoyed it as well. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for Fab Friday, and you'll get a treat. You get to find out why I've been wearing hats all week. <laughs> That's all for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. And until next time, love, peace, and art. I cannot get this peace sign right. It's Ella. Night.